Welcome to day two of Invasive Species Week. Today I'll be talking about the New Zealand pygmy weed. So what is it? New Zealand pygmy weed is an aquatic plant that was introduced to Britain from Tasmania in 1911. It's also found in Australia and New Zealand. New Zealand pygmy weed is an extremely invasive plant species that is not easy to control. So where does it live? New Zealand pygmy weed can be found living in still or slow flowing water bodies up to 3 metres deep. It can also be found growing on the banks around the water bodies. It is commonly found in the south, east and northwest of England, although it can be found in other parts of Wales and England. It can grow in layers, rooting at the base of the water body and floating at the surface. It can grow out of the water and onto land and can even grow at night without any sunlight. It can completely take over a water body. So why is it an issue? It's easily spread on clothes, by equipment and by animals. So this plant forms a dense mat and can easily shade out other vegetation. This can have a detrimental effect on invertebrate and fish communities within the pond. These mats can cause huge obstruction and block drains and therefore cause flooding. In the winter the plant doesn't actually die back much so therefore it can continue growing year on year. New Zealand pygmy weed will outcompete other vegetation. It will also cause severe oxygen reduction in the pond because of these dense mats that it causes. So what should you do if you ever find it? Make sure you don't release it into the wild or into your garden. Make sure you don't put them down any drains or release them into the countryside and make sure you do not throw them. Ensure that you're disposing of them responsibly and putting them into your compost or into your local garden waste to be collected. Many invasions in the countryside start as a result of people removing unwanted plants. Sometimes removing the invasive species can make the situation worse. If you're ever unsure, make sure to do your research first. Thanks for watching. Check in tomorrow for Alex's video on grey squirrels.